our own personal journeys and our own stories to share. And it all depends on what you do with it, you know, like your choices that you have and just being positive because it's really important and it's happiness that comes within within you um, and I think it's I think it's important not to lose sight of, of who you are and your beliefs and your values and your inner spirit and really just try to um, unleash all that and tap into it and and just expose yourself in, in vulnerabilities very important to be vulnerable and you know if you have to know what how you how you tick you have to know yourself really well and um, then you'll know how to deal with problems because it's, it's going to take a lot of time and and self-awareness and who you are and how you relate to others and just being you and, and your authentic, uh, genuine self. Stories to share and personal hardships we may face. And I think if you're really committed to doing better for yourself and self-aware of who you are and where you want to be in life and the differences you want to make with others, um, the compassion and the sensitivity level you have and the kindness that you carry out and also the way you handle problems, um, how you problem solve because life is not perfect, you know, everybody has their own struggles that they, they may face. So I think that if you're really committed to making a difference and, and seeking um, you know, to be genuine and authentic, um, you know, and, and all that, you know, that, that's really what it comes down to because no one's going to, you know, <laughs> make you happy. Like that, that just comes from within. Like you really have to discover yourself and be, be aware of, of what you can handle and, and who you are and how you can be helpful to society and just being positive because it's so important. Life is a journey and it's not always an easy one and if things are going to throw at you and you just really have to know how to tackle it all and how to swim through it because you know it's it's tough it's a toggy doggy world you're going to be you are going to be sometimes in the dumps you know and that's just the truth that's the hard reality of it because life you know it definitely has its ups and downs and turnarounds and and you know, it's just how you rise above and how you carry yourself and how you're going to handle it. And if you have a hard time coping, um, you have to figure out ways to better yourself and work on it. And what what also works for each um, individual is is different. And everything is, you know, all on an individual basis. So you can't compare if if somebody has problems, you, you really can't compare yourself to them because, you know, we all work in ways um, differently. So learn from your mistakes and really try to make smart choices for yourself and also be aware of people around you because they're impacted by your choices as well. So you want to um, really try to do self-awareness and do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes and, and don't give up. Like, keep going. You have to believe in yourself. Even when times are rough, you really have to believe in yourself. And have find the strength and the confidence within. That's so important. In many problems, 
there are solutions. And it's about accepting it, acknowledging it, and getting the help you need. But I have found that in life, you know, when I, it's one thing to be supportive to your friends, but if they don't want to help themselves, you really can't help them. So you have to really want to do the work. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of work. In life, you have problems, and it's learning how to cope with them and deal with them, find solutions, accept and acknowledge them, and also seek help if needed. I know that you know during my darkest hours and darkest days that I've had and when I went through personal hardships, I knew that for myself that I really had to help myself. I couldn't just ask for help unless I was that complete whole where I would look for answers. I would look to seek what's the best solution for this and that's in anything we do in life. So you, it's really important to have an open heart and to get to the root of the problem you need to like dissect it like look at the root like go from the start how did it all begin and how will it unfold and it's up to you to really dig deep and help yourself seek help if needed find a lesson or opportunity within the problem do some soul searching, have an open heart, and be able to fix the problem. You have to be aware of the dark side and learn how to heal from it. And it takes time. It definitely takes time to heal the heart, but there's ways to do it. So, good luck. <laughs> good luck with it. Good luck with it. You're not alone and you know, there's, don't be afraid to reach out of your comfort zone and ask for what you need in life because we all have different needs and we all are different people in this world. So look from within and find the answers and, and also see what qualities you have to restore all of it because there's hope and faith and there's light at the end of the tunnel it's like our rebirth like you be the best you can be the positive your positive self your best self put your best foot forward and do all you can do exhaust everything until you find that like don't give up persevere life is short and, and to enjoy it <laughs>